How's it going everybody? Welcome to a new video. Today's Saturday and I'm going to pick up a new car as you can tell by the title. So we're in Joey's car right now. Uh, we're headed down to San Diego. Casey's mobbing with us. We're going to pick up a new car, man. Uh, I never made a video about it, but I sold the G. Uh, shout out to my man, Israel. I'll put his Instagram right here. He's the one that picked it up off of me. You guys make sure to stay tuned and enjoy the video. Stretch, dude. Uh, we're in San Diego now. We made a stop in Oceanside so Casey can fill up some E and we're grabbing some snacks and all that stuff. We're about 10 or 15 minutes away from the place that we're meeting this guy. I'm being ecstatic. Also, I'm sitting in Joey's car right now. We're parked outside the gas station and the, the gas station attendant inside the window, like the cash registers are right behind the window that I'm right in front of. I'm just, you know, obviously I'm talking to a camera. I look like I'm fucking insane but this guy is like standing right behind the register just eyeing me down like every four seconds. He, like there's a monitor and he's like peeking around the corner of the monitor and just like looking at me and I've looked up at him and made eye contact with him like five times. It's really funny. Getting ready to go pick up the new, the new car. So, dude, I, I, I seriously can't wait for this I'm so excited. We're rolling. Why are we rolling? I don't know. That's why. We're here and uh, we're gonna make the deal, and I will uh, show you guys what's up in a little bit. If you're following me on Instagram, you already know what the car is as of now, but if you don't already know, then you're slacking and you need to follow me. So, follow me right here if you're not already. Without further ado, let's go check out my new car. Everybody, say hello to my Lexus IS300. So this is a 2004 Lexus IS300. This is the Canada spec, meaning that it originally came from Canada, has a Canadian VIN plate. The odometer is in kilometers rather than miles. And instead of it having a miles per gallon gauge, liters per 100 kilometers. My little thermometer for outside temp is also in Celsius, which is really cool. This thing is absolutely amazing. By the time that I'm filming this, I've already owned it for a week. So, as you just heard me shift, the car is automatic for now. I've already been talking with a few people. I'm in the uh, process of picking up a W58 five-speed transmission to swap into it. That will be happening. Uh, how soon, I'm not 100% sure. There are a few other things that I'd like to do to it first. This is the Sport Design 2. It already has, I don't know what this kit is, but it already has a lip kit on it. Front lip, side skirts, it's got a rear lip. I believe this is stock, uh, but the paint's obviously fading on that. There's some small things here and there. Uh, the key, the car has been keyed around the whole thing, unfortunately, but it's not the end of the world. Uh, I'm just gonna wrap it anyway. Bumper isn't all the way in right here, but that's fine. Max Peating Rods coilovers. These wheels are 18s off of a 2017 IS250. Aftermarket headlights, LED tails. I have LED uh, rear bumper markers that are in the car and they're smoked to match the headlights and taillights. I just haven't put those in yet. It's got a doubled in, all kinds of other stuff in the interior. But overall, this thing is incredible. It has 93,000 original miles, so I couldn't pass it up. As you can see right here in Joey's hands, we already have something to do to it. So, courtesy of my girlfriend, thank you, Katie. We are going to be installing a Alteza style grill and getting rid of this bunk Lexus OEM one. So from my understanding, basically all you gotta do is pull these expansion rivets and undo one 10 millimeter bolt and then it just pops back and up and out. 10 mil acquired. Get 
it is. Expansion rivets are out. There we go. Tabs undone. That slides backwards. Old bunk OEM. New, not bunk. Sick. So now we just kind of. That goes back on that side. This gets pushed back through here like this. Okay. Well, already that looks a billion times better. Oh, my camera's about to die. Here's the grill. I have clear lens fogs in the trunk. I just haven't put them in. Those definitely need to go in now that we have this grill. I think it looks really good. A whole lot better than the stock. This is the IS, man. It's pretty crazy. I loved the G, but uh, it was time for something new, and I'm very happy. This is a, a pretty awesome upgrade in my opinion. So, hope you guys enjoy. I hope you are as happy about my new car as I am, because I'm beyond stoked. This thing is awesome. And there may or may not be some new wheels in the works already. May or may not. Uh, I'm not going to spoil anything, I'm not going to tell you guys anything yet, but when it happens, it'll happen and you will definitely see. So, hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching and joining me for the start of a new build and a new series on the channel. I'll see you guys in the next one. Shoots.